My name's Aaron. I'm going to be teaching you how to place a Blakemore today. This orange box right here is your Blakemore bundle. It has everything that you need to place a Blakemore, except for the Blakemore. That's located right next to the box in a long white cardboard box. Grab that, grab a one liter bag of saline, as well as suction tubing. Call your x-ray tech. They're going to play an important role in this. Ensure that your patient's already intubated and adequately ventilating. Let's get to work. Ensure that all of your proper PPE is in place. Open the orange Blakemore box and remove one of the pre-sealed packs as well as the cup later. Open the pre-sealed pack, remove its contents, and unwrap all of the contents within. Remove the white caps that come pre-inserted into the Blakemore. Place these to the side. Take your blue Christmas tree adapters and insert them into both the esophageal and gastric port. Now, take your three-way stopcock, remove the caps, and insert this into the blue Christmas tree adapter. You'll repeat this again for your other port. Take a Lura lock, remove the cap, and insert it into the non-inline port. Repeat this. Pay special mind to the direction of the three-way stopcock indicator. The arrow will always point in the direction that it is turned off to, meaning air will flow through this direction. Take your 50cc syringe, insert it into the esophageal balloon, pull back to deflate the balloon entirely. When you're finished, turn the arrow indicator on the three-way stopcock towards the Blakemore. This will prevent air from leaking. Repeat this again with the gastric balloon. Lining up the distal tip of the gastric tube next to the Blakemore, just above the gastric balloon, take your marking pen and write the number one at the 50 centimeter mark. Again, line up the distal tip of the gastric tube next to the Blakemore, this time just above the esophageal balloon, and write the number two at the 50 centimeter mark. Take your Dobhoff, remove the wire from the Dobhoff. Take the wire from your Dobhoff and insert it in the central aspiration port. Thread the wire entirely. Take a packet of lube and cover the entirety of both balloons with lube. We'll now focus on inserting the Blakemore. Take your lubricated Blakemore tube and insert it in the mouth entirely. You may now remove the Dobhoff wire. After removing the Dobhoff wire, be ready to clamp the gastric aspiration port. Reposition your three-way stopcock valve to allow for inline airflow. Take your 50 cc syringe and inject 50 cc's of air into the gastric balloon. Again, turn the valve so it is facing the Blakemore tube to prevent any air from leaking. Obtain an x-ray to confirm that the balloon is properly placed in the stomach. Once you've confirmed proper placement of the gastric balloon, insert another 200 cc's of air into the gastric balloon. Each time, turn the valve so you secure that no air leaks, remove the syringe, and refill with another 50 cc's. You now have a total of 250 cc's of air in your gastric balloon. Pull back until you meet resistance. Take your gauze roll, unfurl it, and fold it in half. Taking the looped end of your gauze roll, pass it behind the Blakemore, and then the loose ends should pass through. This is your traction slip. Take your one liter bag of fluid, pass your loose ends through, and tie a knot. Hang it over your IV pole, 
and allow it to hang to gravity to provide traction. Take your NG tube and pass it until you align the number one with the 50 centimeter mark on the Blakemore. Connect your suction tubing to the gastric tube. At this point, if you no longer aspirate blood, that means that you've successfully tamponed out of the bleed. If you continue to aspirate blood, you'll need the cuff later to inflate the esophageal balloon. Remove the gastric tube. Connect the cuff later to the three-way stopcock that's on the esophageal balloon. Ensure inline airflow and inflate to 55 centimeters of water. That's equivalent to approximately 40 millimeters of mercury. If you overinflate, use the red valve on the side to release some air. Secure the position of the three-way stopcock valve towards the Blakemore. Insert the gastric tube to the number two so it lines up with the 50 centimeter mark. Connect it to suction and ensure hemostasis. Remove the gastric tube. Take your suction and the football connector and connect it to your central aspiration port. At this point, remove the orange clamp and aspirate the contents of the stomach. Write down the time of the esophageal balloon inflation. Call GI. If you have not achieved hemostasis, consider calling surgery or IR. It's a good idea at this point to obtain an additional x-ray to confirm placement of the Blakemore tube, but also to confirm that your ET tube is still in appropriate position as it may have shifted during flight. Now, with a clean pair of gloves, take your cuff later, take a gray top or purple top wipe, and wipe it down. Allow this to air dry. Replace the cuff later into the box and send an email to the administrator responsible for stocking the box. They're going to need to replace the kit as well as get another Blakemore for the emergency department. Thanks for watching.